What is up guys? So on my way to school right now and uh, kind of in a hurry so you know like when you're in a hurry you don't take the time to you know get the crap off your windows and stuff. That's what's happening right now. So I can't see anything behind me right now. Probably not a great idea. But uh, anyways, um, I'm going to reply to one of the uh, um, Instagram um, topics slash questions I had on there. Um, I decided I wanted to talk about, um, someone asked about how many calories you eat in a day and what to eat to lose weight. Now, um, part of that question is good and part of it's not. Um, there's <clears throat> When it comes to like diet and stuff, a lot of people, um, a lot of people want to find that magic, that magic way to do it, like the easy way. Um, well, the truth is, I mean, it's, it really is easy if you change your lifestyle and it's not really, here's the thing. It's not really about what you eat. It's more of about how much you eat. You can eat Reese's one after another, but if that only equals out to be 2000 calories and that's how many calories you need to eat in a day to lose weight, you're going to lose weight. But going off of that going off of that you cannot just eat well you can if you want to just eat 2,000 calories worth of Reese's if you want to do that that's fine you still lose weight but that doesn't mean you won't feel like crap you you need some micro especially when you're losing weight you need more you need micronutrients more than you would regularly so um, that's that's pretty important when you're you're losing weight really what it comes down to if you want to lose weight you have to find out you have to experiment with yourself, really. Stop being in such a hurry. You have you have plenty of time. But what what are you in a hurry for? And if you did put yourself in a situation where you need to be in a hurry, it's probably not a good idea to um, to drastically change your body at that time. It's never a good idea to drastically change your body. What, what, let's just put it that way. Um, your body is not meant to lose 20 pounds in one month. It really it's not. It's not meant to lose 20 pounds in one month. Your your body is not meant to do drastic changes that's when like um like any, anything if you're gaining weight too fast i mean there's your body cannot handle that <laughs> so anyways i'm kind of ranting a little bit but uh so when it comes down to it, it's, it's it's actually extremely simple you don't need to do a diet you don't need to eat certain foods and limit yourself in other foods what it is, it's completely personal. You need to find out and experiment with yourself how many calories you need to eat a day to lose weight or gain weight. This goes with gaining weight too, but since we're on the topic of losing weight, um, usually um, it's suggested to go 500 calories under your maintenance. So, like, say for me, um, this I this is like I burn 3,500 calories a day. That that's just usually how much I burn. So I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm really trying to gain weight, but I'm not really gaining weight with this, but I'm go, I'm eating 4,000 calories a day right now. And um, right now I'm just steadily gaining weight. So if you're wanting to lose half a pound a, a week, which is, that's, that's good. Half a pound to a pound, that's where you want to stay. You don't want to go over a pound a week because then your body is just like, uh, you're, you'll eventually start feeling like crap and then you're going to go right back to uh, eating a crap ton. Uh, your body's gonna start craving everything. You're gonna start eating the sofa. You're gonna look. You're gonna watch TV, and all you're thinking about is food all day, every day. And you're gonna look at that sofa, and it's gonna look good to eat, and you're gonna eat it. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, stick to a half a pound to a pound of um, weight loss a week. Um, and how you do that is you find out how many calories you burn a day by experimenting. Um, for such as there is calculators online I did use one of those and it's actually pretty accurate I don't remember the name of it but just look up um, it's T D E E calculator put it into Google or something and that will um, calculate your total daily energy expenditure and that so once you get that number you go 500 under that you eat 500 calories under that amount it gives you so 
it's not about what you eat, it's how much you eat. And what I like to make a comparison to, um, calories are like money. Calories is like, like how many calories you have a day is like your bank account. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's the same exact thing. You have so many calories to spend every day. So, say I have 3,500 calories to eat, um, that's how much I need to take, or how much I need to eat to lose weight. Um, I have, I get to choose whatever 3,500 calories I want to use that for. I could, I don't know, I could eat like a good healthy breakfast, maybe eggs or something, and oatmeal or whatever. And then later on I could have like cheesecake or something. And if it was under 3,500 calories, you're gonna lose weight. But like I said earlier, you need your micronutrients. Um, the more volume, the better. If you want to sustain, if you're trying to lose weight for a long period of time, you need to find foods that have a high volume with low calorie, such as broccoli. That's a pretty good one if you like broccoli. But it's all about finding the foods you like that matches what you need to do. You do not. The la actually the, the the funny thing is, people want to do diets and they want to limp like they think they need to limit the foods that they like to lose weight, and then they find out, oh man, this sucks. I need to go back, or they, they probably don't even really think, they, they subconsciously, this is all come, happening in their, their conscious right here, without even, without them even knowing it, they're like, oh, this sucks, I'm just gonna, you know, cheat today, and just so I can, you know, remember what this cheesecake tastes like, and uh, they go back to it, and then they don't ever go back to the diet, um, that's usually what happens, you don't want to, you don't want to deprive yourself of foods you like, that's the, that's missing the whole entire point. You want a diet where you want to lose weight without taking any foods away that you like. It's a, it's your personal weight loss goal. It's your personal weight loss journey. It's not that you don't need to do a diet. And um, I mean, if you do, I mean, some people diets work. Like some people really do well with keto. Um, that's where you're doing high fat, um, low, like barely any carbs, and. Um, normal protein intake some people do really well off that me I would probably keel over and die within three days of it like I need carbs I, that's just that's just me I need carbs and um, but yeah it's it's really simple really just um, if you want to lose weight calories are your bank account every day you stay under that you don't you don't overspend um, it's, it's really that simple. You eat what you want. Um, I do suggest eating high volume foods if you're trying to, um, you know, lose weight over a long period of time because eventually your body is obviously going to, um, it's going to start craving things. Um, but the more volume you put into your diet, the more micronutrients you put into your diet along with um, your weight loss, along with staying under that amount of calories a day, then you're gonna lose weight. You're gonna keep on muscle, which is important. And um, yeah, that's really, it's so simple, guys. It is so simple. Everyone wants to complicate everything, which it's fine, but like, I get that. Like if you're competing and stuff, yeah, I mean, I can see it. But like, maybe if I do it, eat at this time in the day, and then uh, then uh, they'll change how, many, how, many, how much fat I burn. No, it doesn't matter what time you eat either, man. Karen, it doesn't matter what time of day you eat. Okay? You got it? Alright. But anyways, yeah. So, keep it simple. It's how many calories you have a day. You gotta experiment with yourself to see. Um, those calculators are pretty close, but you might need to change it up here and there. Maybe 100 calories or so. Um, just experiment with yourself for a little while. And then see how many calories you need to eat in a day to lose weight um, at a consistent pace. Um... Don't worry about intermittent fasting. I mean, if that works for you, like it's all about your pre. It's really all about your preference. Some people like the intermittent fasting because um, it works for them. Like some people aren't really that hungry in the morning, so they don't eat. So they save all their calories for later when they are starving. So that works for them. Um, like me right now, I only eat usually. I usually only eat like twice a day. I usually eat two really big meals. Some people really like the small and frequent meals. Um, that's, it's really your preference. Sometimes you just need to change it up. Like, like when I was dieting, like there was weeks where I would go like five times a day I would eat, but they're small, but I would be constantly hungry. So I was like, I need to change this up. 
and then I switched it to like three with a little slightly bigger mules. It worked for a while. Um, man, that sun's like, the sun's in the way. Anyways, it worked for a while, and then I went down to like two, and then, um, man, that sun, man. I love him. I love him, but he's, he's, man, he's, t he's kind of in the way. Anyways, um, yeah, I switched down to three, slightly bigger meals. Um, worked for a while, started to get, started, all I was thinking about was food at that time. And um, then I went down to two, two big meals, like giant with a bunch of volume. Um, I really like broccoli, so I ate a crap ton of broccoli and uh, chicken, and I switched up everything. It's just, it's really just like, any way that works for you to help you sustain it for a long period of time, and you don't feel like it's bot it's not don't let it affect your lifestyle that's, that's all i'm saying because that's when bad things start happening such as like you know um <clears throat> food eating disorders and stuff it's just like you don't want to do that i mean and it's okay if you need to take a break like eat at your maintenance for a while and then go back to a calorie deficit that's fine too you don't need to be so like like i said don't put yourself at a time limit just do it just do it and then enjoy your life. That's all I got to say. That's how you lose weight. And one last thing, uh, to make this all easy, I do use the MyFitnessPal app. I don't know if, you've ever, if you guys ever heard of it, but it does, it tracks, like what you do is you put the food in you want and it tracks the calories that you're eating every day. Um, and then it makes it super easy. So MyFitnessPal app is what I suggest. And if you're getting real crazy into it, instead of just reading the label, you can weigh your food. So getting a food kitchen, a kitchen food scale, um, that always helps too. So you know exactly how many calories you're putting into your body. If you're real crazy like me, that's what I do. Um, I just like the, I don't know, I, I like being accurate as possible. Sometimes like there's foods out there like such as peanut butter, where you might think it's one tablespoon, it might be a half, one and a half tablespoons. And uh, that makes a huge difference. That, you were talking about a hundred calorie difference right there. So uh, yeah, basically that's it, man. You just gotta watch your calories, um, stay under, you got a bank account every day of calories, and uh, you don't spend it over, just like your regular bank account, right? So we're back on YouTube now, but thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and share it, you know, with your friends. And uh, um, subscribe. So, see you guys in the next video.